If DVM's coming at you with one of those winter projects that I'm kind of actually getting to more in the spring, I'm starting to work a little bit back on the uh, pontoon. As many of you know, on the farm, we've got a used pontoon, and I've wanted a better anchor for it, so um, we're going to get a better anchor for it. I invested in one of these, uh, what do they call them, Rocknas. I really wanted something that could hold that 25-foot beast in place, and uh, this number six is supposed to do it. So basically today I want to show you I'm putting one of these uh, C-choice uh, chains on this beast and I'm going to put a nice nylon rope on it they like with some great big clevis on it and make it really work for me. One thing I like about this type of anchor is that you can really dig it in, um, at least for the, the soil types that we have in the bottom of our lakes. And then yet if it digs in really tight, I have a chance of driving back over the top of it getting the chain to slide back down to the other end and help reverse it out. Um, a lot of the plow type anchors, you know, are kind of difficult to remove otherwise. And I like how this one slides back and forth and you can remove it. Obviously a concern would be like this key and stuff coming loose when it slides back and forth and stuff. So I'm actually going to wire tie it in. I'm just going to take some small wire and I'm going to loop it through here. And I'm going to make sure this key stays in place because there could be a lot of strength on this depending upon, you know, the, the types of soil we're in. We have a little bit of rock down there. We have a lot of heavy sand and heavy clays in the bottom of our lakes around here. And I get up in those, you know, 10 to 15 mile an hour winds and the big, you know, Tahoe pontoons, you know, they kind of get lifted up, especially if I've got the canopy up and it really pulls on that anchor. And the typical, you know, river anchors just don't seem to hold. So I want something a lot stronger, something that can really dig in better. I know it's a little bit of awkward anchor to have in the vessel, but there's plenty of room in the pontoon for an anchor like this. So um, I'm really kind of excited to get it out this uh, spring and, and get it get it going. Uh, again, I know a lot of people would just attach nylon rope up in the lakes we're in here in Minnesota and just go with that. But again, I'm putting the lead chain on it and then the nylon rope. As far as the actual uh, anchor rope goes, um, I decided to kind of use the recommendations from a good sports shop and, and watch the poundage, the amount I could pull on the anchor and stuff and see if I could kind of make it to the to the right specs. So here it is with the chain on it at this point. Now it's time to add the uh, anchor rope. And I decided to go um, with uh, boat tectors. I went with their double braided nylon anchor line. There's different sizes. Um, for ours, I need one that can do about 3,500 pounds at least. So you can see there's different size ropes, 3 ace, 1 half, 5 ace. In this case, I'm going with that 3 ace. And I got 200 feet of it. Probably way more than I need for a pontoon. But again, I, I'd rather have it on board than not on board. Um, this has got you know it all set up for you. Comes all pre-done, which is really nice. You basically can just attach it and go. Really couldn't be... Uh, quicker, easier winter project to do. And like I said, the old river anchors and stuff, goodbye. I'm done with them. Um, so here I've got the uh, anchor rope now attached. And basically I'm I'm ready. I'm ready for summer. You know, but I'm going to have to wait a few more months. It's only March. <laughs> but I'm all set to go. I look forward to using it. I hope it really digs in hold. I'll give you guys a review after I've used it. But uh, this is what I'm hoping to hold back the 25-foot uh, Tahoe with. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll keep putting out great videos like this.